Hello again. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to address the process of uh, calculating GC content in DNA sequences and plotting them. We'll use several libraries. In the first few tutorials, we'll try to use um, matplotlib to plot the data. And after that, we'll need to use other libraries like BioPython to retrieve DNA sequences from FASTA files. So for the sake of this tutorial, we just use row entry. We don't use any library. So in order to get the user entry, the first thing to do is to have a variable that can contain the user entry of the DNA sequence. So let's say you need to convert this to a string. So you write down string input and into in between string quotation marks you write down please enter your DNA sequence like always below so having said that you can run this after saving the file and this could be an entry from the user but sometimes the users have lowercase DNA sequences which is something not favorable to get around this issue, we could say DNA upper equals DNA underscore seek dot upper. This makes the DNA sequence that has been entered by the that has been entered by the user a uppercase. So it makes it upper, uppercase. To print this out, you can write down print this one, and let's see. If all the DNA sequences in lowercase, it makes it uppercase. So this is the first issue to get around it. Well, we don't need this. Now, what we need to do is to calculate the nucleotide sequences. By the way, the equation for GC content is as follows. It is the summation of sum of G plus C divided by Total, total nucleotide, which is the sum of A plus C plus G plus C plus D, sorry. So this is multiplied by 100 and it will become your GC content. This is the equation of GC content calculation and we need to use this one. So now let's calculate the nucleotides adenine equals this variable which is the DNA sequence dot count a and you can do the same thing for the other nucleotides like for thymine you do T equals for guanine you do for G equals and the same goes for cytosine. And that's it. So we have the counting of the nucleotides. You can print this out to see whether it works or not. It's just like this. Print A, T, C, and G. So let's print this out and see if it works. So these are the counts, but I've not specified it because I'm not very much interested in seeing which one is which. So we'll just remove this line of code. Now for the GC count, we need to have a variable that can contain the GC ratio. GC count equals the G plus C divided by G plus C plus T plus A and this is multiplied by 100 so we put it like this and multiply this by 100 so this is basically the calculation of the GC can content now let's print this out to see whether we like the outcome 
we can see, or we can write down the GC content of your entered, entered DNA sequence is backslash notation zero dot format. So we write down percent dot format your variable. So we have this variable. We can put this here and see if it's correct. Let's run this. Now it asks for a DNA sequence. Now it's, well, this number percent. Well, this is not actually what we wanted to get. This looks nice and neat. Now let's try another one. Now this looks like it is good. Well, we need to get around the issue of uh, the decimal points, which is the float points. We can write down round here and follow this by a number, let's say, like this. We need two decimal places and let's see if it works. Now it's 28%, which is good. So we got around the round and the decimal places. places. So this is the GC calculation, the GC ratio calculation. And in the next tutorial, we'll go through the process of plotting nucleotide frequencies and GC content of a given DNA sequence.